everyone, it's Alicia again. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This entire video is going to be about my clothing rack. The rack itself, I actually made. So I'm gonna be talking about that as well. But yeah, I hope you like the video. So this is my clothing rack. This entire area is dedicated to just this. So the rack itself actually used to be a shelf. It had, I wanna say, one, two, three, so I had around three shelves um, built into it, and I literally just unscrewed them, took them out, so now it's just completely open. On the actual top part of the shelf, I have this little bag, so I'll just bring it up here. This was thrifted, and actually, funny story, it was an accident. So my sister and I saw it at the thrift store, um, we were literally just looking at it and we thought the handle and the gold detailing was so beautiful, we don't really need it. It ended up being put into our cart, I don't know who put it where, but it was ended up being put into our cart and neither one of us really wanted it. We went to the cash register, got a lot of other items, bought our items, and in the bag, while we were going home, our bag with all our stuff that we bought, this was in it. So we accidentally bought it, which is fine because it's a cute decor piece and who knows if we're ever going out somewhere very fancy and we need something cute or a little bag to go with us, um, we can use this. This one, my older sister actually got it for me for Christmas. Um, I don't have anything in here. It does have a handle, but for right now, I just kind of keep it in here. This one, I believe she got from the mall, and maybe it was Urban Planet or one of those mainstream stores. She saw it, she just thought it was a cute little bag, why not? So she bought it for me, and I honestly love the bag. It had a little pom-pom attached to it, which I took off because I didn't really like it. But yeah, that's the story behind this. I showed this in my last video, um, my thrift haul, but I bought these shoes. So right here I have this satin kind of burgundy little handbag. My grandmother gave this to me actually. I don't know what the brand name is for this either. I don't. I don't know what the brand name is. Um, this is what it looks like. I think it's very beautiful. Um, inside, it actually came with a little book, kind of booklet thing. So inside, it has all of this random paper um, that you can write on. That's how you know it's pretty old. Um, here you can put your credit cards. There's no place for change, which is why I don't really use it as my everyday wallet, but I still think it's beautiful. So I pretty much keep that in here. And I just think this little bag is so pretty. I'm just gonna take this off. So it's this dress. I think this dress is so beautiful. It goes on and on. It's very long. I got this, I wanna say, I'm not, I can't remember which thrift store it was exactly. There was one close to my town mall. Um, it's really small. I kind of like to go there just because it's small and everything that they have is out in the open and you don't really have to dig as much to find stuff. The brand is Via Signoria. It was made in Italy and it's a size medium. So this is the dress. I don't mind the top. I'm not sure about the neckline. I just love the color and the length. Um, sometimes I'll style it, maybe even with the t-shirt, I just put over it and tie it. And it just kind of looks like a really long skirt, which I kind of like. The next thing that I have is this shirt, which I'm pretty sure I got from Value Village about a year or two ago, probably two years ago. The brand is Ricky's and it's in a large. 
So I actually just got like really hot. It's so hot outside. I have my window closed just because it is windy and I don't want to make a lot of noise. And the fan makes too much noise, but anyway, so I just changed my top. Um, the next thing on my rack is this. So this shirt's actually from Forever 21, it's medium. It's a classic kind of scoop neck t-shirt and over top, I usually wear it with this. So these are two separate items. The next thing I have here is this button-up. It's from the brand Dress Barn Women in a size 22 slash 24, made in Indonesia, and it's sprinkle resistant. So this is what it looks like. Hair that I have here is actually um, a pair of shorts. It's from Old Navy's. Um, blue jeans, the best in denim. Looking at the tag, it looks quite old, and I feel like this is probably years and years ago that they are selling shorts like this. Um, it says the original brand, Old Navy denim right here. Looks like it's crochet, I don't know how to describe it. I think it's crochet, top, whatever the brand, um, the label was, someone actually cut off of the top right here, but this is what it looks like. I like to tie it up, again, wear it with denim, shorts, skirt, jeans. Uh, I might even put this over another dress. Um, that's one thing about me, I love to put, like, layer different things. So the next thing on my rack is this skirt, which I love the pattern. Something about it is just so bohemian to me. Um, it kind of reminds me of something like a gypsy would wear. Um, but yeah, this part's see-through, and then it has kind of like a built-in skirt. The next thing that I got is a pair of shorts, and they're kind of like khaki style, I want to say. They're kind of beige or cream. Um, the brand is Blue Notes Jeans Wear. This one definitely looks like one of their older products or older items. The next thing on my rack is this, which I showed again in my thrift haul video. I got this a few weeks ago. Um, a lot of the times when I get new clothing items, they go straight to my rack just to display them so I remember, okay, that's new. I should be wearing that or selling that sometime soon. So again, it's just a button up top. Um, the buttons are very thin and very beautiful, I'd say. The brand is Canada or Canada, Canada. I fully just saw that and read Canada, but yeah. Um, so it's just a jean dress, overall dress. Again, as a little pocket right here, two pockets on the side, two pockets in the back. I just love this scene, the stitching. Um, everything about it is just so beautiful. It doesn't have any pockets on the back and the brand is Sprit. Um, but yeah, I honestly, I was debating on it. I'm like, do I want it? Do I not? It looks kind of weird. Came to my senses and I'm like, I need it. So I got it. Next item is not thrifted. This was a gift from one of my aunts to my sister. From the brand, um, Danny or something like that. Again, I just love how breathable the material is. It has kind of like an orange slip dress underneath it and then this beautiful kind of fabric just over it, which I probably just have with heels and a little handbag if I'm going out. Thing to maybe bring this with me on vacation. My neighbors down the street last year were having kind of like a garage sale. It was between two to three houses and all of the neighbors down there, all three of them decided, okay, let's all of us grab all our stuff and let's all have a huge garage sale and I guess they split the profit. So one of the houses that I went to, she's, I kind of know her. Um, she's lived there for quite some time and she used to kind of make skirts. So she made this skirt. She had a ton of stuff, tons of like jeans and stuff that she made and she loved to kind of create different clothing items, but I guess it was just kind of like a hobby. She didn't really pursue it. So this was about a dollar. This entire skirt was literally a dollar. I think it was February. February we were gonna be having our semi-formal. And 
I needed a dress. I was freaking out. I didn't have a dress. And I ended up finding this there. I wasn't really looking for a dress at Valley Village, but I saw the pattern. I thought it was so beautiful. So this is what it looks like. I love the floral detailing. Soft pink. Something about it so beautiful. And I love the cut of it. How it's so flowy. Um, this is even like a nice summer dress. The brand is JL with a heart. Item that I have here is this dress. And I wore this in my Thrift With Me video. So it kind of has a slit right here in the middle and it opens up about like where my knees are. I want to do something with this. I just don't know what. It had buttons going down the side, which I didn't really like. So I got rid of the buttons. I don't know if I want to take the sleeves off. That might be an idea. I'm not really feeling the sleeves, um, but I do like the length of it. I love the color of it, the pattern of it. I usually just cinch it in with a belt at the waist, definitely coming with me on vacation. It's so airy, it's beautiful, it's a size small. Um, it was, we got it during a sale at, I wanna say like an Iredeen warehouse. They had this huge, huge sale. And basically everything was like 50% off. So this dress, I probably wanna say I got for like $5 or something. Um, again, it cinches in at the waist. Very breathable material. It has kind of a section of lace further down, another section of lace at the bottom. And I just love the way it is, um, the way it fits me, the way it looks on me. I have this little bag. So I showed this in my Thrift With Me video slash thrift haul. The brand name, I don't think it has one. I can't find it anywhere. Um, but this is the bag that I have on the side. And then this bag I got a few weeks ago from a smaller thrift store by the mall close to my house. And the brand is Rossetti. This is right here, Rossetti. But yeah, that's my clothing rack, everything on it, where I got it from, some of the prices. I kind of remember some of them I don't, as I said. But this was my clothing rack. I thought it'd be neat to show you guys, again, how I made it why have it everything on it in case people were wondering but that's my clothing rack and i hope you like the video bye